Looks like you got trouble, Reverend. Yeah, I'm afraid so. It sure is embarrassing, too. I was coming back from this wedding I performed, and I bedded down for the night. <laughs> I forgot to tie my horse down hard enough. I tell you, it sure is a hot day for all this walking. You bet. Well, if I can be of any help. Yeah, you sure can. You can hand over the mare you got there right now. Well, I don't see how I can do that without an argument. Well, I'm going to see that you get your horse back. Well, that's real nice of you. First time I ever met a horse thief. Called it alone. Take a look at that. U.S. Deputy Marshal. That's right. With a turned around collar. I'm after a murderer, mister. And I don't aim to let him get me first. Who's the man you're after? Ben Rollins. Rollins? Thought he was in Colorado. That's what everybody thinks, that he's in Colorado. But I got a different line on him. My horse broke a leg about three miles up the road, and I had to kill it. You ever tell a story straight? That's a straight story. You got the badge there in your hand to prove it. And I got the papers here in my pocket to show that I got the authority. Well, now, that might make you a lawman, but that don't give you the right to take what's mine. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pay you for your horse. I take it you got $500 there in your pocket? Look, I just bought this mare. And ain't nobody, no marshal or anyone, gonna take it or buy it from me. Now, you can borrow it. Well, I thank you kindly. Very kindly, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see that you get it back. How about that? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna ride along with you till you find another horse. Now, look, I'm chasing after a man that's wanted for robbery and murder. And I don't look forward to having somebody tag along after me that I gotta look after. Well, I always heard that two guns were better than one. Being you ain't got a posse. I don't need one, either. Look, I don't mean to stand in the way of a lawman doing his duty. But I just ain't gonna let him ride off with my horse, either. Well, then that's gonna be a mighty expensive horse if you die in the process, ain't it? It's your choice. Let's go. Are you? Don't be alarmed, ma'am. We won't hurt you. Are 
Are you Mrs. Rollins? No. No, I'm Amanda. My name is Amanda Carter. Well, where's your husband? Well, he's gone. Dead. Dead. Well, I think you were right the first time. Now, I'm going to ask you once again. Where is Ben Rollins? <coughs> huh? That's enough. Can't you see she's sick? I'm going to have a look around outside there. I hope for your sake I find nothing. Sorry. The boy? My son, Joey. He's a mighty good looking boy. You've been sick. Oh, seems like always. It's been bad the last few weeks. Me. We'll <coughs> have to wait, little fella. We got a lady here. Need some help. Come on now. Lie back here. I got an extra blanket on my saddle. When I get back, I'll get that fire going again. right back. Mr. Barkley. He's Barkley. Mr. Barkley, that man's not a preacher. He's a bounty hunter. Name of Weaver. Oh, Mr. Barkley. Thank you. wash or change him. Well, that's no trouble at all, man. These last few weeks, I have, haven't even been able to feed him proper. So he's making up for it right now. You're good at that, handling babies. Well, I lived with a family once for a while that had, had 12 of them. Man had to kind of learn to diaper in self-defense. Rollins, I think that it's time you started talking to us about your husband. Carter. My name is Carter. Is that right? Do you know that I went all the way back to a little bitty town there in Missouri that Ben Rollins is supposed to have come from? And I checked the records in that town. And they say that about seven years ago, Ben Rollins married a girl. Her name was Amanda Carter. Go to a lot of trouble to find a man, Weaver. Well, our Mr. Rollins is wanted for robbery in six states. And he's wanted for murder in the state of Colorado. That's right, murder. Now, would you like to tell me where he is? That's not true. Now, my husband wouldn't murder anybody. He wouldn't? Do you know three witnesses saw him shoot down a bank clerk in cold blood? No. He's a good man. He's a really good man. He's really a good man, is he? That's why you're laying there sick, huh? All the time? Because he's really a good man who hasn't been back here in how long? Months. Did you ever think, Mrs. Rollins, that maybe he'll never come back and see you? That's right. Now, he and his gang have performed a couple robberies lately. Must got him a lot of money by now. 
What do you think they're doing with all of that money? Hmm? Not sending it to you, are they? There's an awful lot of women out there, Mrs. Rollins. Awful lot of women that sure like to be up next to Mr. Ben Rollins and all of his money. No! Yes. And you're laying there dying in your baby, too? No! I told you once to leave her alone. I think I know how to handle this. That's a trouble you don't. And you're not going to hound her this way. You got no stake in this. You're just a dedicated lawman, huh? You'll do anything and anybody to nail Ben Rollins. Somebody's got to do the job. Last I heard, there was a $10,000 reward on Rollins. Is that why you're so dedicated? You're not working for the government, you're working for yourself. It's legal. I got a badge. I got the papers giving me the authority to do it. Now, you can call it anything else you want to. You know, a man works all of his life wearing a badge, and he don't get nothing for it. He gets a lot of hard work and scrub pay, and that's it. Now, I go out, and I do my job, and I do it very well, and I get paid very well for it, and I do anything that I have to to get the job done. Ms. Rollins has got to get to a doctor. I'm taking her out of here in the morning. If Rollins comes back, he'll come back here. Well, that's your problem. If I wait any longer, she may die. Rollins? No, let go of me. Let go. Bring the baby. Yourself. He was trying to get to her husband. I done told you she know where he's at. He's gonna kill Ben. I just can't let him. Just tell me where he is. I promise you I won't harm him. I'll bring him in alive. But tell me where he is. Now get out. That doesn't matter. Because Rollins will be coming back for his kid. Mr. Barkley. Mr. Barkley, he's gonna... He's gonna kill my husband, isn't he? He, he just won't give Ben a chance. Well, the posters say dead or alive. Your husband resists. But he will. He has to. <coughs> oh, God. He couldn't stand to be pinned in. You just lie back and get some sleep now. <coughs> hey, Mr. Barkley, what's going to happen to Joey? You're going to be all right. You're a kind man, but you're a rotten hand at lying. 
What's going to happen to Joey? I don't know. Would you take care of it for me? Miss Rollins, I can't. Please. You've got to. I, I don't know what else to do with it. Please, just promise me. <coughs> I promise. Thank you. funny. I've seen a lot of reward posters on Rollins. Never seen a picture of him. You sure you know what he looks like? I even know what he eats for breakfast. Yeah, Rollins usually travels with three or four men. How do you figure on getting him alone? I could deputize you. Yeah, you could, but you won't. You don't want to have to cut anybody else in on that reward money. But I think you're going to have to work real hard for it, Weaver. Well, I'm taking a chance that Rollins is going to come in here after his family by himself. Now, if he comes in here with more men than I can handle, then I'll have to wait and get him another time. You going to take that kid with you? She asked me to. What do you think Rollins is going to do when he comes here and finds his kid gone and his wife dead? Well, a $10,000 reward. You going to give him a chance to do anything? There's nothing like gin when you feel all done in. And when I'm thirsty for a beer, better serve it to me, dear. Just put away a whole bottle. three-cornered pants you got on. The pins seem all right. It's not there. Don't you, boy? You wait right here. I'll be right back, huh? But trees, Ben. No lawman after my hide either. That'll be nice for a change. Not having to keep looking over my shoulder all the time. Hmm. 
And sooner or later, somebody's going to be there with that wanted post in his pocket and a hankering for them 10,000 iron men the government's offered for you. Now, once I'm over that border, they can't touch me. It's been seven years for me, you know, <clears throat> Running, hiding, no peace. It's time she had more than that, her and Joe. I think we can get it up there. You know, nobody gets out, Ben. One way or another. Once you're in, you're in the state. No, not me. All right, let's get ready to move out. You want my advice, Link? You head for Canada, too. Give him some extra grain, Glenn. He sure earned it. supposed to be here Friday. We were getting worried. I'm sorry. A couple of things held me up. Did you get the mare? She's outside. He. Oh, what's in the basket? Well, now, that's a fine welcome after being gone for two weeks. Well, of course, I'm glad you're home, but what's in the basket? Well, you see, Mother. Oh. 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 Mother, she's beautiful. Uh, he. His name's Joey. What is this? Well, he was crying. Uh, teething, you know. I cut that off my saddle cinch. Oh. Well, I don't suppose a little more dirt will hurt you. Heath, I know you didn't find this baby on a doorstep. Where did you get him? Is Jared here? I'd like to ask him about some legalities. He's in San Francisco. Heath, where did you get this child? He's Ben Rowland's son. <laughs> It uh, was only four days ago. Amanda's name, not Joey's. Whoever buried her must have taken him. Hey, where are you going? To get Joey. Ben, if anybody can track whoever took him, you can, but... Well, maybe it'd be best if you just forgot it right here. Forget it. I don't know how Amanda died. I don't know where my son is or who has him. Just like that, forget it. Ben, look at the name on the marker. Amanda Rollins. 
Now, they know who she was, Ben. You take off after Joey, you're gonna walk head on right into a trap. You coming with me, Ling? No, Ben. You? You haven't got up to Canada. You, you look Joey and me up. What is this doing here? That child is not this. Well, what is that child doing here, then? I brought him. Meet Master Joseph Rollins, Nick. Uh, oh, uh, who? You can call him Joey. Joey, huh? What does he want with that spoon there? Well, he's teething. Oh, well, uh, how'd it get here? That's a long story. His mother was dying. She asked me to take care of him. Oh? Well, uh, has he got a father? His father's got a price on his head. Oh, wait a minute. Back up. Rollins. You said Rollins. That kid by any chance belonged to Ben Rollins? That's right. Wonderful. That man's been wanted for five years for murder and robbery. He carries six states in his pocket, and they haven't caught up with him yet. And knowing all this, you got the guts to drag that kid out and bring him to this house. I just couldn't leave him there alone now, could I? Have you given any thought as to what Rollins is going to do when he finds out his kid's gone? Well, he's been gone for quite a while. He may not be back for months. Oh, that could be. But if he does get back and he trails you here, have you thought about that? There's a bounty hunter just waiting for him to come back to that cabin. The way I see it, Rollins hasn't got a chance. Well, now, I wouldn't count on that if I were you. He's been trapped before, you know, and he's still free. You're both overlooking a most important thing. What happens to the baby? Well, the uh, sooner we get him to an orphanage, the better. Joey's not going to an orphanage. And why not? Because I happen to know what it's like to be an orphan, not belong anywhere. I want Joey to belong. I want him to have a family with kids to grow up with. Till I find one, he's staying right here. Heath is absolutely right. There will be no more talk about an orphanage. Heath is also right that Joey should be raised with children and other young children. Let's see, the Whitakers now, now, they've been talking about adopting another baby, and the Stanleys, they, they have some young children that... I'll make some visits tomorrow. I'll drive you, Mother. Well, I'll, uh... I'll go up and, uh, clean up Audra's old room. Make it ready for him. About time someone cleaned that room up anyway. Don't worry, Heath. Joey's going to be all right. Stop right there, Mr. Rollins. You carrying a badge, Reverend? Or are you working for yourself? A little bit of both, thank you. Now, just hold it right there. Now, the government doesn't much care how I bring you in, whether it's setting up in that saddle or laying across it dead. And you? Whatever's easiest for me. And that, I guess, would be with you dead, wouldn't it? Seems to be your choice. Whatever's fair.
Bartley. Here. Mrs. Whitaker. I wasn't expecting company. Oh, we're not exactly company today. Tell me, do you and your husband still want to adopt a baby? Well, we, we were thinking about it. Why? Is this one up for adoption? Oh, not yet. You see, his mother is dead, and we can't find his father. He is beautiful. A boy. Mm-hmm. Well, why can't his father be located? His father's Ben Rollins. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but it is our busy time, uh, Mrs. Barclay. Putting in crops and all. And, and my little girl hasn't been feeling very good. I haven't any time for a baby. But you said you wanted to adopt a baby, and I... Yes. Sometime. Not now? Or not this baby? It doesn't make any difference, does it? I'm sorry. The answer is no, Mrs. Barclay. You done? Yes. You'll be fit to travel in about two weeks. I'm moving now. You're not a minister? No, doctor. As a matter of fact, I'm not. I didn't think so. Preachers don't usually come in here all shut up. Well, I'll save you the trouble of asking. I'm not a preacher. I'm legally deputized to go after Ben Rollins. I finally caught up to him, and he shot me. I don't suppose you'll listen, but I'm required to tell you this anyway. That wound won't kill you if you rest. But if you insist on riding, you'll break the stitches and start bleeding again. And if you lose much more blood, Mr. Weaver, I can't be responsible for you. I'm not asking you to be responsible for me. Local sheriff could help you round up a posse. I don't need a posse. For heaven's sake, man, why not? Why not? There's a $10,000 reward out for Ben Rollins. That's why not. And you can't see splitting it. <laughs> I've been chasing after that man for over a year, and I don't know how many miles. I finally caught up to him, and he shot me. No, sir, I can't see splitting it. Now, how much do I owe you? Two dollars is enough. And change that bandage every few hours. If I get the time, doctor, I will. Well, Miss Barkley. You know how it is. Well, we've got four of our own, and we uh, sure would like to take a little fella in, but, uh... Why, what's wrong with him? He's healthy. He's cute as a button. Well, you got room. Oh, we could feed him in all he's, but, well, he wouldn't be one of ours. Well, he would be if you took him in now. Well, he's so young, he doesn't even know who he is yet. Well, now, somebody would surely find out. We couldn't keep it a secret, and they'd want to know, and... Miss Barclay? I understand. Well, I don't. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Not all, Miss Barkley. Come on. Families turned him down flat. Why? For the same reasons you talked about yesterday. Trouble. The poor little fellow doesn't even know it yet. Why, uh, why is he so pink? We've been riding around in the sun all day. Uh, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't you do something about it? Have you got any suggestions? Uh, no. Uh, it's just that, well, I thought that maybe somebody should do something about it. Well, don't worry, Nick. We'll take care of him. Come on, Mother. Well, what happens, Heath, if you can't find anyone to take him in? Maybe we'll just keep him, huh? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, 
Just keep it down, will you? Huh? Will you keep it down? He's trying to get some sleep in there. Oh, oh well, that's what Just take it easy. What do you want to do? You want to maybe get up? Want to get up and sit for a while? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. There. Oh, wait a minute now. You. Oh, back with you. There you go. There. There. Hey? Wasn't so bad, was it? Huh? Was it worth all that crying, huh? There we go. There. There we are. Huh. See that? It's all better now, isn't it? Hmm? Hey. 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 Say, uh... Okay. Uncle Nick. Can you say, Uncle... We'll work on it tomorrow, all right? Huh? You'd make a great father, Nick. Oh, well, he, uh, I heard him crying here, and, uh, well, I thought there was something I could do, and, well, he seems like being held, so, you know. You're doing it very well. You know what? He, he, he smiled at me. Babies do that. Oh, no, no, he smiled right at me. Right. Well, I think he likes his Uncle Nick. Yeah. I believe he does. Well, that's about it, I guess. You sure we got enough baby food, Nick? Are you kidding? There's enough here to last him till he's 12 years old. Baby food, eh? Don't tell me you haven't got rid of that Rollins kid yet. What's your interest, Jameson? Oh, words out. I heard you were all over the whole valley trying to palm that kid off on folk. I didn't ask what you'd heard. I asked what's your interest. Well, everybody knows about him. Now, we don't want him here. Well, now, ain't you the interested citizen, Jameson? If you knew anything about that kid, you'd know he's only nine months old. Now, what do you expect from him? To go to the nearest bank and stick it up with his rattle? Nah, trouble breeds trouble. You know a boy follows after his father. Joey doesn't even know his father. It's in the blood. If that's true, then you should be a blacksmith like your father. Now, uh, we let him live here, he'll wind up robbing this town blind someday. Well, now, what do you suggest we do? Shoot him like a dog because he might have rabies? <laughs> That might not be a bad idea with a little mongrel. Ah! Nick. Nick. What? Well, I was going to do that. Well, we just chalked that one up for little Joey, then. All right, for that, I'll buy you a beer. You're on. Yeah. I'm looking for work. Oh, we got a full crew on. I, uh, do most anything, mister. Smithing, handyman. I really do need the job. Well, I guess we could use somebody around the house fixing things. All right, for a few days. Put your stuff in the bunkhouse there and check with my brother Nick. Uh, he'll get you started. Much obliged, Mr. Barkley. Heath Barkley. Tom Bennett. <laughs> up the windows on the outside. I can start in here if you like. Good. Know. You keep working like this, you'll run out of chores to do. It's nice to have some chores to do. Uh, these windows here. Now, the lace curtains, of course. Sorry, ma'am. I have a baby in the house, I see. For a while. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you can start over there if you'd prefer. Yes, ma'am. He sure is a good-looking boy. Mm-hmm. I don't suppose I could pick him up, could I? I know how I had a son once. Of course. Thank you. What's his name? Joey. Hello, Joey. Is he a good boy? Oh, he cries a little. He's teething, but he isn't any trouble. Oh, Bennett, when you're through here, Richardson would like some help in the barn. Yes, sir. Hi, uh, Joey. Oh, baby. Do these windows over here. I get it. What do you want here, Weaver? Weaver? Bounty hunting marshal. Are you Mrs. Barkley now? Yes. Well, then I guess I'd better speak with you. I have uh, papers here that give me all the authority I need to use your house here as a headquarters. You mean as a trap? You can call it anything you want. I am, and we don't want any part of your setup. Look, uh, this gives me all the authority I need. Now, if you want to stand in my way, then... No one is standing in your way. You're free to go whenever you like. Mrs. Barclay, Rollins is going to be coming here after his kid. Now, I had him out on the trail, and he got away from me. And uh, he's going to be coming here sooner or later. Look, Weaver, you're wearing a badge. That makes you the law. But you're not using us to carry out your kind of law. That means you're obstructing justice, you know that. All I can see is you're trespassing on Barclay property. What does it matter as long as it gets a job done? Get the job done someplace else and as quickly as possible. Now, get going, Weaver. That's Joey. I don't mean to hurt you, ma'am. I just want my son. I stand corrected. Mr. Rawlins. Who brought Joy here? I did. What happened to my wife? I found your wife very sick, Mr. Rollins. Before she died, she asked me to take care of Joy. Keith did all he could for her. I suppose I should thank you. We aren't condoning what you did. But Joey shouldn't have to suffer for it, as your wife did. He won't. There was a bounty hunter just here, looking for you. I saw him. Easy. Well, it's taking that baby's just going to slow you up. Mr. Rollins, think of Joey. What can you offer him? What kind of a life can you give him? What are you offering, Mrs. Barkley? Well, we hope to find him a good home with children, young children. If that's not possible, we'll keep him. I want him. All right, suppose you get away. How is Joey going to grow up? Just like any other boy. He's my son. You don't even have one. You don't know. I do. I have three sons and a daughter. Then you know why I'm doing this. Because I care for the boy. Mrs. Barkley, would you wrap him up in a blanket, please? If you really love Joey, you'll leave him here. Give him a chance to grow up and live decent. Let him be worth something, Rollins. Sorry, Barkley. I thank you for the thought. But he's too important to me. I'll step over into the middle of the room. Mrs. Barkley, I'll take Joey now. Far enough. All right, what are you going to do now? Look, 
Looks like Weaver's got you nailed. If you try to get out of here, Joey's liable to be killed also. Remember, dead or alive, you pay off. Dead is easier. It's funny. He said the same thing to me a little while ago. Sparkle, you take Joey upstairs, please. I heard you were a crack shot. You missed me clean. I put my bullet just where I wanted it to go. Barkley, you made a promise to my wife that you'd look after Joey. I want you to see that he ends up in, in a good home and gets all the right things. I will. And the reward? You collect it. And use it for Joey. See, it's, it's the only thing I'll ever be able to give him. I'll see to it. It's, it's not enough. Father shouldn't leave this boy alone. Rollins is dead. Isn't that what you wanted? Then what about the reward? I chased after the man for a whole year. I even got shot up. I figure I should get something. Mr. Weaver, I don't doubt that sooner or later you're going to get exactly what you deserve. <laughs> Yes, Rollins wasn't as bad as people figured. Certainly not about Joey. He actually forced you to shoot him, to kill him? Weaver was quite upset about the reward money going to Joey. But even he admitted it was legal. Hmm. I'll get it. Hello. Even Nick. Mrs. Barkley at home? Yeah. Oh, come on in. Lydia, Jim, how nice to see you. We came by to, to see about the boy. What about him? Well, we, um, we talked things over, me and the uh, missus, and we decided, um, well, we decided that uh, we wanted the boy. At least, uh, with our four, he'd have some children to play with. Well, I think that can be arranged. You know you have some reward money coming. I don't understand, Nick. Well, Joey's father's dead, and, uh, well, the reward money goes for the care of the baby. Well, now, we'll just put that aside for the baby. Just one thing. Now, what's that, Nick? I want visitor rights. Me too.
told me... What are you doing here? He isn't here yet, huh? I have told you that there isn't anybody else. You say that to me right here in this place. Oh, and why don't you ask me why I'm I here? I don't have to ask you anything. I know why you're here. I'm here because Maria's sick, and she needs my help. Good Samaritan? To a servant I fired for thieving? She was kind to me. That's why I helped her. In the middle of the night, when I'm supposed to be away on business. Would you have ever let me come here any other time? And that? I suppose that's for Maria. Did you? Huh? Oh, Coco was getting a little over his work, eh? What do you mean, old? He just stepped in a chuck hole back there, that's all. Yeah, I've been noticing. A lot more holes around here than there used to be. Maybe there are, maybe there are. You know that uh, trip you're going on tomorrow? That ain't no Sunday ride through back pasture. What do you mean? Well, meaning I broke in that new stallion you like. Won't you take him along tomorrow? Give you a chance to get to know one another. Big Duke? Sure. Well, maybe you're right, maybe. Maybe old Coco here does need a rest. Maybe you're right. Well, yeah, old Coco here, he's earned retiring twice over. Retiring? Who said anything about retiring? Not me. Old Big Duke, you know, he's got a lot younger outlook. May even be able to give you a more uh, personal hand at picking out them blue mares, huh? Well, he's all ready for you, Nick. Who's that? Big Duke, he's all saddled and ready to go. Big Duke, what's the matter with Coco? Is Nothing's the matter with Coco. He's fine, just fine. He just needs a little rest, that's all. How old's he getting to be now? I wouldn't know. He's not as ancient as you seem to think he is. He's 22. At least I remember seeing a picture of the two of you when you were both skinny cold. You remember? I remember. The first two months, he used to throw me twice a day. <laughs> well, he's about holding to that average now. Now, wait a minute, Heath. What happened yesterday was an accident. I told you that. He stepped in a chuck hole. I know Coco. A man grows up with his horse, he knows that animal. Besides, old Coco will be cutting cattle long after this big duke of yours is in a rocking chair. 
Well, uh, Nick, I know how hard it's going to be if you'd have to put him out to pasture, but... Pasture? Who said anything about pasture? Besides, I've got to go across the desert. No cocoa can smell out water better than any camel. So you can take your big duke and unsaddle him and... Well, whatever. I'll be back in a couple of days, Mike. Talk about stubborn. Let's take it. Drop your gun, Bill. You make much of a living this way, mister? Just do what I say. Now, you just come along with us. Could you just tell me where we're going? You'll find out soon enough. All right, let's move out. Pretty big mistake, mister. No, I think you've made one. Welcome to the club. It'll take five sticks of dynamite to blow your way through that window. What's all this about, anyway? You got no right. This is the United States. We got the same treatment you did. They didn't give us no reason or nothing. My name's Gandhi. Barkley, Nick Barkley. This here's Bodkin. You sure they left that door? kind of mistake, mister. I ain't done you no harm. I think at best you explain all this. This one, I would think. Well, the Apache could find out for sure soon enough. Well, what's your name? What's yours? I'm Ben Dawes. I own this country about as far as your eye can see. And the people who live on it, mostly. Mr. Dawes, I was just riding through here, minding my own business, and all I want to do is just keep on going. Take a look out that window. Oh, go on. What do you see? Horses. Just horses. A bit more, I should think. They all have white manes. Exactly. So? Last night, I almost caught a man riding such a horse. He had been with my wife. Your wife? Today, my men searched the valley and the town. There are three men riding horses with white manes. Look at me. I'm, I'm no ladies' man. You, you can see for yourself. Look, I swear I never set eyes on your woman. I don't want to. Mean to no offense, of course. Never set foot in this country until this morning. 
All innocent. But one of you is him. Best the other two find out who he is. Let me know. And if we don't... When the sun tops the mountains tomorrow, you'll all hang together. You'll never get away with it. I will. I'm the law here, and the judge, as far as you can see in any direction. Isn't it? I saw, I saw her, you know. The what? When they brought me in. She was standing in the window in the house. Yeah? What does she look like? Something all right. Yeah? Like one of them China dolls. All soft, white, silk, lace. No wonder that old man is out to hang somebody. What makes you think it's him? Huh? Look at him. Young. <laughs> Good looking. I sure ain't no lady killer. Neither are you. You're getting right down to it. She'd sure go for his kind, all right. That'll be enough out of you, little man. We don't need any kind of this loose talk around here at this minute, do you think? No, it was not him. Young and handsome. <laughs> Did you find it pleasant? Something for you, Mr. Dawes? No. No, Tony. Thanks, anyway. Beautiful tonight. It's almost like daylight. Yeah. Yeah, it's what we used to call a, a hunter's moon. Enough light, proper season, the right prey. 
Are you really going to go through with it, Mr. Dawes? I have to. When? Daybreak. The Lord works in mysterious ways. He takes. But he gives. And I'm grateful. My own blood son. Couldn't stand quite as tall in my shadow as you do. Let me do the job for you. Oh, no, no. Keep no, your hands no, clean no, of this. Tony, no. Look, all... All that out there is... Uh, all going to be yours one day to make something out of it. That'll be your job. That back there is mine, and mine alone. I must say, for a man that's about to hang, you don't look too worried. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not too worried. As a matter of fact, I know how to get out of here. You never said so before. Yep, well, I'm saying so now. What do you got in mind? Get out of my way, Barkley! What do you got in mind? It is him. Just like I said right from the beginning, I said he was the one. Come on, get Dawes down here. Start yelling. your man, Mr. Dawes. He said so himself. That's right. That's right. I heard him. You're lying. <clears throat> oh, yeah, he was bragging about it. Only he said he wasn't going to die by himself. He said we was all going to hang together. Of course, I know it was him even before he, before he said it. The way they looked at each other when she was down here. Of course, you saw that all yourself, Mr. Dawes. You saw them together. Well, there's your man. It figured to be like that. Get these two on their horses and get them out of here. the others go. But they're all innocent because I'm innocent. Can't you understand You're that? You're going to beg for his life now. Ben, please. No. Please, why won't oh, you... Why didn't I just leave you where I found you? Ben, there isn't any man but you... No more. From now on, you're a prisoner. This house is your jail. You're going to be watched every second and followed every step day and night, and there's going to be no man, no man at all, for as long as you live.
Houston's a madman, and... Well, you saw how he was, and he's gonna kill both of us. All right, just get me out of the cell. Well, will you help me? All right, all right. I, I know the way out. Will you take me with you? Just anywhere, out of his reach. All right, but how do you get me out of the cell? Here. Huh? The key to the door. Good. No, but there's a guard up there. The Apache. Well, here goes. No. Let me take a look at it. Well, it's only a scratch. Uh, looks pretty deep to me. Come on, hurry. We've got to go. All right, all right. Take it easy. All right. Doctor, is there one close? Yes, he's in town about five miles. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh. Miss Dodge, come in. Sit over here. Clean wound. You're going to be all right, Miss Doss. You must be that fellow Ben Doss is looking for. Well, you won't get very far. We'll keep this bound up tight. Why not? You won't have any stitches in there. Well, a hundred horses couldn't take you far enough away. If Ben Dawes got his mind set on catching you. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll make it. And if you was figuring on taking her with you, you ain't. And I suppose you was figuring on taking her with you. You suppose right. Look, Dr. Ben was wrong about him. I just met him today. Well, it'd be pretty hard convincing him of that now, wouldn't it? We could have just waited around until Ben hung him. That's going to be as good as new in a couple of days now. Oh, you just sit there. Hey, you drink some of this. Make you feel better. Yeah. 
You know, there's no stopping Ben Doss. You may have to kill him. Well, now, I just might have to do that. There'll be a lot of folks uh, maybe not appreciate that. Meaning you, huh? Well, you may not like what you see in me now, but you'd have liked me a lot less seven years ago before I met Ben Doss. Well, the Ben Doss I knew would murder three men guilty or innocent. Yeah. It's hard to figure. Man I know picked a bum out of the gutter and puts a manhood back in his spine. Oh, I see. What you're saying is one good turn makes up for all the bad ones. No. As a matter of fact, this ain't the first time he's done something like that. Now, you take that young Tony Semper, the young fellow just drifting along, becoming a real no good. Ben Dawes picked him up, treated him like, like his own son, grooming him to step into his own boots when the time comes. What would you have us do, Doctor? Sing praises to the great Ben Dawes while he hangs us from the nearest tree? No. As a matter of fact, I hope you make it, both of you. Well, you best be gone. Miss Dawes, I'm not going to alert your husband. Man's got to pay for his own debts out of his own pocket, not out of somebody else's. All right, come on. One of them was cut, sure enough. Just the beginning of their suffering, boy. You know, I never really believed it, Mr. Dawes. I never believed she was guilty, but, but she helped him escape. She even went off with it. Just tell the boys it's $100 to the man who kills Barkley. Trail, Doctor, right here to your house. You had visitors during the night? I did, sir. My wife was one of them. She was hurt. I fixed a cut on her arm. Did you know they were running away? Yes, I did. Thank you for that, Ben. I won't have to feel sorry for you anymore. Time you needed help, I gave it. And when you had no friends, I became one. And now, when I get back, I want you gone out of this valley. You understand me? I'll be gone, Mr. Dawes. Doctor, you helped them. Why? Because I'm a doctor, not a judge. I'm a man. I'm not some kind of a god. Coco here needs a little rest. Yeah. Not as uh, young as he used to be, you know. But he'll be all right. He'll be fine. Okay. I guess you're 
Yes, you're probably wondering about a lot of things. Oh, you can tell me about that sometime. No, you know I, what? You've already re deserved the right to know. It wasn't always like this between Ben and me. Well, he was different when I first met him in San Francisco. Is that where you're from, San Francisco? Yeah. I never knew my parents. I was brought up by an aunt and one of my uncles. That was a very unhappy time. And then along came Ben Dawes. He was on town on business and he... Well, he was just everything I'd always dreamed of. So you married him? Yes. I loved him because he was big and strong and mature. And because he said he loved me. And he brought me here to his castle. I thought I was going to be Cinderella. But this castle turned out to be a dungeon, a prison. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. You don't have to go into all this. You know, no, this... I want to. I... Well, it's because of me you got into all of this anyway. It, it won't take long. There's not much more. See, Ben changed. He became mean and cruel and jealous. And he never let me see anyone but the ranch hands and the people in town. And as you well know, he owns every single one of them. <laughs> All those beautiful dreams he's going to make come true for me. They're all gone. before sunset, don't you think? What is it, Nick? Just a little breather is all. Ah, oh, now don't worry, we'll make it. Right now, I'd say we all need a rest. Don't you? Not very much help, am I? Oh, well, now, you're too pretty to have to work. I don't think I ever left the city until I met Ben. Well, that was just my luck. I like the city. I like all the lights and the fancy places to eat. I had two weeks of that when we were first married. It's all still there, you know. No, no. I think it's too late now. Oh, no, no. You know what they say, it's never too late. <laughs> you really think so? I mean, to be a silly little girl again? Or a woman. I 
I, I, I think for maybe those beans are just about ready. You better, better dive in there. Aren't you going to eat? In a minute. I just uh, shouldn't have brought old Coco along on this trip. I guess he's just a little bit too old for all this. How bad is he, Nick? Well, I'd, I'd say he's a... <laughs> you'll never get within 10 miles of that pony of yours. Juliet, uh, you... Sure, you know the way out of here. Yes. All right. Then. Tomorrow morning, first thing, you hit the trail. You and that horse of yours, uh, get out of here as fast as you can. You mean alone? It's the only way. Now, you make twice the time we made today. And by tomorrow evening, you'll be, you'll be safe and sound. No, Nick. I said yes. I'm not going anywhere without you. strength. Nick. The answer's still no. Like they're gaining on us. I see. Well, I'm sorry I ran out on you. I was just afraid, all right? That's all right. Where are you going? I'm not going to let that horse stay down there. But 
Now you wait here, you hear me? You wait right here. All right, but hurry back. doing? An act of mercy. yourself quite a pair, Mr. Doss. Juliet and me. With her dead, you, you'd never have known. It, it was her idea. The house in town, uh, the, the medicine, in case you ever found out. She's a clever girl. Girl, Juliet. Tony. Tony, not you. It was me and her all the time. I'm sorry. Tell me about the horse with the white mane. 
That was your own horse. <laughs> Tony rode him that night. We always used to ride him. Oh, Ben, you're getting old. You don't remember things very good anymore. And you don't see things very good anymore, either. You hear me? You're an old man. Would you get her out of here? suffer. Brood mares I brought back with me. They're out in the corral. Well, looks like you had a rough trip. Oh, just average. Well, it took three more days than you planned. Why? Well, as a matter of fact, uh... I'll bet he met a pretty young girl somewhere. Matter of fact, I did. I thought so. I think I'll look at those mares you've been talking about. Well, I imagine you'll tell us all about it. That is, when you feel like it. Well, as soon as I get old Coco here better down, he... He had such a time chasing down them brood mares. He's just a little bit done in. What about Coco? Well, uh, he'll be staying here for a while. Uh, no more long, hard rides, just a lot of good rest. I guess sometimes the best way to hold on to something is to let it go. Know what I mean? Yes, Nick. I know what you mean. <laughs> 